Um, where's Jack? He's outside with your dad. I just wanted a word. What about? This morning you said you were interested in being a police officer. That was, that was just a wind-up. I was only messing with you. No, it wasn't. You looked into it. You were serious. Well, I can't be a police officer now. I've been arrested. So you are interested? Right now, there's nothing stopping you joining the police. You've not been charged. You've got a choice. Don't throw that away. Hayden, you don't have to be like your brother or your dad. If Jack wants to be in and out of the neck, that's up to him. But you don't have to do the same. Don't diss him. You don't, you don't, you don't even know him. Can I go now, officer? Of course, yeah. Before you, it felt like I've been driving a car for years. Getting used to new roads, conquering my own journeys until... I was thrown off track by your brown eyed gaze and your charming smile and your Portuguese surname. You were like a blood red stop sign with the word go graffitied over it. I didn't know how to think or how to feel because you were the only thing that made me slow my car down. You made me question the world, the people around me, but most importantly, you made me question myself. You made me have questions like, why do I love the way I do? What does it mean to feel ready? Why am I so afraid of being left by you when you've proven you'll stay? So when I drove past the sign, I felt my gears change. I lost the control of my car and I felt the root damage in my engine. But I was so focused on how I'd feel at the destination, I went straight past the speed limit and risked everything for the potential of us rather than the reality of us. Because the reality was, I was too blinded by your red to see how bright it was. And you were too scared to drive the roads with me. What I thought was an exciting halfway there was what you thought was a rush to go nowhere. I had something in mind you were afraid of giving it time. I thought you'd at least try. You gave up at the 29th. But I know I miss you. I want to miss you, but can I miss you? Or do I just miss what I thought was you? Because if I met you now, knowing you do what you did, would I still feel the same? Would it be quick to call it quits? Either way, my car's still standing, even if its gears have changed and I've learned to drive much better despite the wind and rain. So thank you for the lessons learned, even when I thought you were to blame, because if I didn't meet you, I wouldn't now know what I know today. Spit it out. I found some condoms. What are you doing snooping in my room? Picking up the dirty clothes you throw down on the floor. Look, I don't know if you're sexually active, but it's great that you're taking precautions. It's also important that the girl that you're sleeping with, or boy, that you respect each other. I'm, I'm, I'm gay. Hmm. I didn't want to assume. Can we just talk about this like another time, please? I'm, it just feels kind of awkward right now. Okay. We'll talk about it later as a family when you're dad's home. Actually, can we, can we just talk about it now? Okay. So, what I was thinking, we can all meet up together, the three of us, go okay, somewhere quiet, somewhere where you want to go to um, and to speak about it.